Hello and good morning. Well, morning is the best time for learning. And as I am always learning, as people always learn, today I will challenge myself with a new task. As on the all Sundays, I will not go out for a regular photo shoot. Rather, today I will scout around my vicinity in order to find some object to shoot. Uh, of course, the chances for landscape are bleak and negative almost as there isn't any. Uh, rather than that, I will look out for shapes, colors, leading lines, uh, lights, darkness and whatever. The idea is to empty my mind and uh, to shoot whatever I find interesting. That is a new thing to learn. That is how I, I, I always find that uh, when I go out on a photo shoot, I have something in my mind and that always restricts me, that always somehow uh, makes me uh, preoccupied uh, with my photo shoot. So I would like to get rid of that. And one more thing. Today I am going to limit myself with one single lens that this is a Canon 10 to 18 ultra wide angle lens and of course as you know that it is not a good walk around lens because uh, it has a very specific purpose it's very wide angle and around the edges you have distorting uh, features of this lens so I will try to shoot with this particular lens because uh, then only I will try to fit things into my need actually the need of the lens so that uh, it becomes harder for me to find the composition so without wasting any time let's go Well, come to the street. You see, it is almost seven, pretty late. I go out early, but uh, yesterday I it was late night to sleep, so I had a difficulty to wake up. Anyway, uh, as I am not on any particular mission, I do not have any time bound mentality. So, and of course, even though it is late. Uh, it is a cloudy day, it's overcast, so it's not a harsh light condition is going to be. So, let's go. This old man was coming down the street underneath this huge banyan tree with the giant pillars of the college beside him, which evoked a certain sense of a story. And I thought this might make an interesting composition. In this shot, I tried to put a sense of a scale. The two tiny figures sitting just beside the huge pillars of the government college somehow evoked a sense of a scale. Well, of course, it's not a good shot, but I was just uh, walking around uh, trying to find any kind of composition. Little did I know that I had to face something like that. Please continue watching, you will get to know it. Well, I had such a better experience in shooting. I went to the local church where probably I went a thousand times before. I was shooting a couple of shots maybe from a distance and uh, I was not getting the exact angle. And as I was approaching the lean, the rogue security, he caught me up and he said, well, you don't have to, you, 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 you can't shoot inside the church. And the way he approached, it basically made me angry. And I said, why not? Why not? Why the hell not? Because I'm a local, I know the rules. It's not forbidden to shoot uh, in the periphery of the church. You can't forbid me. Just uh, you see me with a uh, DSLR with me, 
you are falling on me. Uh, he said, I don't want to listen to anything. You just can't shoot. Well, I, I said, well, I will shoot. He said, you can't. Put your camera inside. And then I found, well, it is uh, vain to argue with him. So I put my camera inside and I uh, said, well, I will uh, to, uh, take permission from the bishop. Uh, he said, yes, you go. And then I, as I was entering the church, uh, he said, well, you can't enter uh, with, an, with a half pant. And I said, why not? I'm going to the God. If God can accept me with a half pant on, why can't you? You don't make rules here. Don't tell me about the shitty rules. I mean, I mean, how jealous people are, how, how evil they are. I just can't tolerate them. This must be stopped. These hawkish people, I just hate them. I just hate people around here. It made me totally distracted from shooting. It made my total photo shoot a failure. I just can't stand it anymore. I mean, our people, our town, our city, our country is infested with this kind of people. I'm just a word of it. Well, it's not that I am unaware of uh, the ethics of uh, shooting street and people that you have to respect the uh, local values the wants and the desires of the people i'm well aware of that and i do respect that but i know that in here they do not have such rules i know that security uh, previously he also fell out with me because uh, he's basically a shitty person uh, he always thinks that uh, he does not have i mean I think somehow he suffers from a kind of identity crisis and so does each and every person of this town. I mean most of the persons. Uh, I, I, I really, I, I'm sorry to say this but I really think like this. They compel me to think like this. They have such a sneering attitude to everything. They will poke their nose everywhere, every... F I'm, I beg your pardon, I, just, I was just about to use the F word. They will poke their nose around everywhere. In every situation, they will try to take the upper hand and they will try to dominate you. They will try to show you how, how important they are. And it creates such a negativity to creativity. I don't think I will uh, ever try to shoot around my locality. Uh, it creates such a negative aspect in your mind. I heard one of the uh, famous photographer, I forgot his name. Uh, it's Mitchell something. Uh, he said that uh, don't try to shoot in a place where people are negative because it will cast a negative approach to your mind. You will try not to shoot and you will always try to shoot to keep your fingers, to keep your mind active because it's a creative thing. And if you are not intent on shooting, it will basically demoralize you. So I'm sorry my photo shoot failed. It failed pathetically. I couldn't even imagine that it will end up like this but i'm sorry but it definitely taught me a lesson the photo shoot ended in a mess and the video was also not very good at least what i wanted it to be but still if you are of the same opinion with me regarding what happened today you can consider liking this video or uh, share your opinions uh, by commenting below and the new watchers you please consider subscribing that was it that was for today uh, nevertheless i still have shot some photos and which will come after this that's today thanks for watching thanks for tolerating me and letting me tell my experience, my bitter experience. This is Pradyumna from Bradkiss Photography, out.